so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Ice cream for 
our tummy tums. Let's make some bunny bun ice cream. I like it sweet. Let's make some ice cream with strawberries. I like it sweet. With whipping cream and bananas, please. I like it sweet. Let's make some ice cream with strawberries. I like it sweet. Let's make some bunny bun ice cream. Let's make some ice cream with chocolate sauce. Warm and gooey nuts and cherries on top. Let's make some ice cream with chocolate sauce. Let's make some bunny bun ice cream. Let's make some ice cream with gummy worms. Nom nom nom. Green, red, and yellow yummy worms. Nom nom nom. Let's make some ice cream with gummy worms. Nom nom nom. Let's make some bunny bun ice cream. Nom nom nom. Let's make some ice cream that's yummy yum. Let's make some ice cream that's funny fun. Let's make some ice cream for our tummy tums. Let's make some bunny bun ice cream. Ice cream that's yummy yum. Let's make some ice cream that's funny fun. Let's make some ice cream for our tummy tums. Let's make some funny fun ice cream. The 
It's a very blippy holiday It's a cheery time, let's shout hooray Hey there friends, let me hear you say It's a blippy holiday Winter is so icy cold with snowy wine and speckled gold Time each and every year It's a very blippy holiday A very blippy holiday It's a cheery time of shout hooray Hey there friends, let me hear you say Let me hear you It's a blippy holiday Snowflakes land on my toes Then my shoulders, then my nose Like a tree to get a whiff, whiff, whiff Could it be gingerbread or a cake? Mix it, stir it, bake, bake, bake It's a very blippy holiday
guys, they'll grow so quickly. Down at the farm, they're growing fruit and planting seeds. There's pigs and goats and chickens who will lay their eggs for me. Down at the farm, we're living off the land. So pick some flowers and feel the breeze and lend a helping hand. So let's go be the chicken.
find a hook to You can be a pirate doing what pirates do We've raised enough the jolly roger And we're shouting out ahoy So let's make some pirate noise Let's go searching for the pirate gold A buried treasure on adventure
You and I get to skateboard with my friend Sean White! Let's go! Four little wheels going round in our feet. Whoa! One little board rolling on the concrete. I'm all ready. Get your board and zoom around, but keep your balance on the ground. It's the coolest four-wheeled way to roll through town. Here we go! Show us a trick on the skateboard. Skateboard, do a kick flip and skate a bit more. On the half pipe, we're going up and down. <laughs> yeah! Get your safety gear, put your helmet on. The skateboard's gonna be so much fun. On the half pipe, we're going up and down. We're gonna skateboard all around. <laughs> yeah! So cool! Whoa, whoa, whoa! We did it! We learned how to skateboard! Bye bye! <laughs> It's me, Blippi, and look at what I have here. Whoa, this is a scale. Yeah, you put one thing on this side and one thing on this side, or many things, and whatever way it tips will tell you what's heavier and what is lighter. Okay, let's try a really easy example. I'm gonna take these off. What do you think is heavier and what do you think is lighter? A feather, <laughs> tickle, <laughs> or a rock. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, the rock is gonna be heavier than the feather. Ready? Yeah. Do you see how the rock is lower? Yeah, because this side is heavier. Okay, I have another idea. How about a bunch of these feathers? Whoa, yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of feathers. <laughs> Whoa, and the feathers are so colorful. And to make it even, we need to add the carrying case on this side too. Okay, now let's see if all these feathers weigh more or less than this rock. Ready? Oh, that one rock is heavier than all of these feathers. Whoa! Whoa! That is so cool. Okay, let me put that rock over there. Put this back up here. Wow. We have to stay nice and clean and organized because we have a lot of things to weigh here. Hey, okay. all right. Hey, check these out. What kind of fruit are these? Do you know? Yeah, this one is an apple, and this one is an orange. Yum! <laughs> I love fruit, and I love vegetables. Okay, let's see. Huh, they weigh roughly the same. I wonder what one's gonna be heavier, what one's gonna be lighter. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, do you see that? Yeah. The apple is heavier. Wow, <laughs> and it's bigger. But that isn't always the case, remember? Yeah, the feathers were so big, and then the rock was so small. But the feathers, yeah, were lighter than the rock. So it's all about density. Yeah, let's see here. Ooh, look at these. <laughs> wow, these are cubes, and they actually are pretty Whoa! Light! <laughs> wow. See? Even one barely even tipped the scale. 
Okay, so let's go like this. Okay, there are four on that side. Actually, let's do three. <laughs> okay, now the same cubes on this side. Let's do five. What one do you think will be heavier? Yeah. You're right! Five cubes of the same size and same weight is heavier than three cubes of the same size and weight. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, all right. Let's get back to weighing things. Okay, let's put these rocks over here. Let's gather up all the feathers. We need to pick up after ourselves. Perfect. Put those right over there. <laughs> Although they're so cute and pretty. <laughs> okay, all right. Now we have some dinosaurs. <laughs> We have a T-Rex. Ah. Okay, you can stand right there. Oh, well, how about you just take a nap? Just like that. <laughs> and then we have a Triceratops. Ah. Ah. <laughs> okay, let's see what toy weighs more. I don't know the actual dinosaur weight, but just for these toys, yeah. This T-Rex is heavier than the Triceratops. But what if we added a Brontosaurus to it? All right, are you ready? These are definitely heavier. <laughs> okay, we'll put those aside. All right, now we have an experiment. Okay, we have rice and we have water. So let's put the same amount of rice in a balloon compared to the water the same amount so let's do a quarter of a cup and then we can see what one is heavier which means which one is more dense because they're actually going to be roughly the the no they will be the the same size yeah because one quarter of a cup is volume Perfect. All right. <laughs> Sometimes it can be so confusing. <laughs> okay. All right. One quarter of a cup. Make sure it's nice and what? Perfect. Okay. Oh, gotta set that down right here. Need to prep my balloon first. Perfect. There we go. Okay. Gotta use the funnel or else it would be really dirty. <laughs> okay. Here we go. One quarter cup. Let me tie it. Okay, now I'll do the water. All right. Okay, now we need one quarter of a cup of water. Whoa. I don't want to spill. Ready? nice and organized be sure to clean up all right now let me tie this okay so we use the same amount of volume one quarter cup of rice one quarter cup of water okay, now we get to do the fun part we get to put it on the scale and we get to see which one is more dense which one is heavier ready The blue was rice. Whoa, rice is more dense than water. Whoa, woo, woo, woo. Hey, do you know what else is really heavy? Yeah, construction vehicles are really heavy. Yeah, like this excavator or this front loader. Whoa, huh. this excavator is actually heavier than this front loader toy. Whoa, <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Since we're talking about weight, 
and machines are really, really, really heavy. Let me think about a machine that is very heavy, low to the ground, and can push everything out of its way. Do you know what machine that is? Yeah, look at the big front blade on it. Yeah, that is a bulldozer. Hey, I think we should learn and watch the bulldozer video. <laughs> bulldozer, clearing the land. Bulldozer, pushing rubble and sand. In the roads, move over, it's about to roll. It's a yellow tracked machine found on mines, farms, and factories. It can push most anything. Bulldozers turn up debris. Bulldozers help the farmers work by breaking up rocks and digging in the dirt with the blade on the front and the claw on the can help you build a home just like that Whoa, it's on a roll Bulldozer And they can move through some rough terrain They can move all kinds of things Bulldozer, clearing the land Bulldozer, pushing rubble and sand Maybe the rock will make it heavy enough. Whoa! It for sure was heavy enough. Wow, that was so much fun learning about weight with you. And also, bulldozers. Wow, those machines are so heavy. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, I'm going to clean up now. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Flippy. Hey, it's me, Flippy. And look at all the items that I have. Whoa! So many random things! But hey, in this video, we are going to do the Blippi Velocity Race! Yeah! That's where we put a lot of these items on this ramp. Yeah, see how this ramp is at an angle? Yeah, we're gonna let them go at the same time and see what item reaches the bottom first. Okay, so let's go with Heat number one, the slow pokes. <laughs> we have this sweet, colorful beach ball, and then we have this really light balloon. Okay, all right. What one do you think is gonna reach the bottom first? I think I know. Three, two, one. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, the beach ball went to the bottom first. Okay, let's let them just, you know, get warmed up for later. And then we'll use some more items. Yeah, I'm sure all these items are gonna be a lot faster. Okay, here's another set of items. They're actually the same item. Water bottles. Yeah, but this one is empty. And this one is half full. <laughs> all right, let's put them on their side and then Let's let them roll down. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. 
Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Awesome. Three, two, one. Whoa! Yeah! Wow! The half full water bottle totally beat the empty water bottle. How do you feel after your race, half full water bottle? Oh, Blippi, I feel amazing. I can't believe I've won. Great. Well, it's gonna move on to the next race. Half full water bottle versus extremely bright orange duct tape. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready? Ready to race. Are you ready? You know I'm ready. All right, three, two, one. Whoa, whoa, did you see that? Yeah, the water bottle rolled down way to the bottom, way quick, way faster than the duct tape. Perfect, so now it can move on to the next round. Have you ever wondered why these items, some go fast and some go slow? Yeah, it's because their velocity. Yeah, velocity is basically the speed at which they're rolling down, the speed and the direction. Yeah, there's a lot of things that actually determine what the item's velocity is. I mean, like, think about it like this. There could be a lot of friction and it like can't slide, or maybe it rolls compared to, you know, maybe there's sharp edges. There's just so many things that, you know, determine how fast, how much velocity these items have. So let's let these two items go. We have orange over here and apple over here. And let's see who wins. Go! Whoa! They were actually really close to each other. I don't even know who won. Let's see that instant replay. All right, let's pick two more items. We have a soccer ball or a football, depends where you live, and the half full water bottle, the champion. Okay, let's see who wins. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm good to go. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right. And away we go. Whoa! I cannot believe it. The half full water bottle wins the velocity race. Whoa! And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> wow, that was awesome learning about velocity and how fast that water bottle went and how the ramp is angled. But yeah, if the ramp was flat, it definitely wouldn't go anywhere, right? Yeah. Hey, can you think of a machine that is actually really fast? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay, let me give you a hint. Okay, this machine does not go on the ground. Well, it does, but then it goes in the air. Yeah. Whoa, I hear one. Yeah, maybe you've got to fly in one before. Fly? Yeah, they fly in the air. Yeah, airplanes. Yeah, airplanes are really fast. And speaking of speed and velocity, I think you and I should watch the airplane video. Some airplanes fly with propellers, some air 
airplanes fly with jet engines. I love to look up and see their wings waving down at me. Some airplanes fly just for fun. Some fly for business trips. Business or pleasure. You can make an airplane out of paper. Throw it in the air and watch it go. I love to look up and see its wings waving down at me. much fun learning about velocity with you and it was really fun seeing all these great items compete at the great blippy velocity race <laughs> but there's only one champion and today that was water <laughs> wow <laughs> well this is the end of this video but if you want to watch more of my videos all you have to do is search for my name will you spell my name with me B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. All right, see you again, bye-bye. <laughs>
let's open this up. There we go. And it doesn't need to be exact. Yeah, that is one cup of flour. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> wow, that is a great base for the clay we're making. Okay, all right. Let's see, one quarter cup of salt. All right, it is definitely already getting really messy. Okay, one quarter cup. And then we need to grab some salt. Here we go. Perfect, ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, perfect. All right. Okay, let me zip this back up. Yeah, and then we need one teaspoon of cream of tartar. <laughs> what a silly name! <laughs> That's so fun! Cream of tartar! <laughs> one teaspoon. Oh, there's so many. Okay, here we go. Here's one. Here we go. And we're going to mix all this up in a little bit. But for now, <laughs> let's pour all the ingredients in here. Then we have a half a tablespoon of oil. Okay, whoa. This is where it might get a little messy. Okay. Perfect. All right, put the lid back on just so it does not spill. That would be bad news berry. <laughs> okay, and then we have a half cup of H2O. You know what H2O stands for? Yeah! Water. I love water. All right, half of a cup. Perfect. All right. Oh, hey, look, I forgot to close up the flour. We should probably do that. All right, let's push all that stuff to the side because now we're ready to mix it up. But what we need to do is put in some color. And you can make any color you want. But what we're gonna do, although we already have a green color, I think we should make another green. But this one will be a little bit lighter. So. Let's open this up, add some green. I don't know how much to add, but that seems like quite a bit. And then also I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. Yeah, it's going to make it more of a, a bright green. Let's close that up. Whoa, that was a fun recipe to make, but now... <laughs> I gotta mix it up. Whoa, it's looking so good. <laughs> wow. You see it? Whoa. All right, let me keep mixing it up. Whoa, yeah! We did it! Wow, check it out. Wow, whoa, homemade clay. Wow, what a pretty green color we made. Good job. I wonder what color you're gonna make at home for your first color. So now what you can do with this, it's so much fun. You can actually smash it flat. Watch this trick. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, <laughs> that's silly. Okay, let's peel it off. Wow, perfect. And then, now you can use these. Yeah, they're like cookie cutters, but these are definitely not cookies that we're making. I would not eat this, okay? All right, okay. Uh, yeah, remember that airplane? Check it out. Okay, now you push it down. Whoa, look, <laughs> cut an airplane out. But first, let's 
push it out of here. Wow. Yeah! We did such a good job! Wow, okay, I'll put that airplane right there. Now, let's bring all the colors that we have out. And then, let's see what we can make together. Okay, so let's put that green back. And we have the airplane right there. What else? Oh, we have some letters. We have, ooh, a dog. Woof, woof. Will you act like a dog with me? Ready? Woof! 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 <laughs> wow! <laughs> Dogs are so cute. Okay, let's make a blue dog. That sounds pretty silly, doesn't it? Okay, you know what to do. Smash out your clay nice and flat. Oh, <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, push it down. All right, whoa, look at that. Whoa, pull the sides away. Wow, and now, oh, <laughs> that's silly. Look, what is that? Yeah, it's a little poochie. Okay, we'll save you. We'll put you right there. Perfect. All right. One pooch and one airplane. Huh? <laughs> Perfect. Oh, hey, I think we have some letters over here. We can spell something out. Okay. Looks like we have a B, a P, an I, an L. Huh. A B, a P, an I and an L. What word can you think that uses those letters? A B, a P, an I, and an L. Hmm. I know! Yeah, my name! <laughs> Blippi! Yeah, we can actually spell my whole name out just with these four letters. See, we would go like this. We would use a B, an L, an I, we would do two P's, and then we would use another I. Perfect. All right, let's do that. All right, first we need some colors. So let's use this blue color. Yeah, there we go. Let's do a B right there. Perfect. Whoa, this is going to be so cool. Yeah. And if you use some of this at home, maybe you could spell your name. Okay, let's use some purple. All right, so we've got a blue B right here. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, and then we have an L. All right, nice little L right there. Yeah. So a B, L, and then we need an I. How does that look? Yeah. Whoa. Okay. B L I. Yeah. B L I. What's the next letter? Yeah. P. And there's two of them. Let's use one of my favorite two colors. Yeah. The color orange. B L I P. We need another P. We'll use the color black. <laughs> this is so much fun. It feels so cool on my hands. Ooh, another P. Yeah. So we got. Here we go. We got B L I P P. What's the next letter? B-L-I-P-P. -P. Yeah! 
yeah, I. And let's use this bright red color. All right, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Here we go. Oh, how does that look? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Yeah, good job. All right. Okay, let's put these down here with the dog and the airplane. There we go. All right. Now, let's make one more thing. Huh. Hey, well, since we have all these stencils and these cookie cutters, yeah, you could actually use a lot of them. You can make a star. You can make a heart. You could make, ooh, a butterfly. Yeah. Or you could use some other tools. Yeah, like this spoon or this fork. And see, look at this. See, you can use the fork and, yeah, act like you're in the garden. Do, 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 do. Yep, gotta make the soil nice and soft so then you can plant some plants. Wow. <laughs> but I am definitely making a mess with all these small pieces. So, look at this. This is a cool trick that I learned. See? You can actually pick up a lot of the pieces by smashing it. Yeah, it's kind of fun, huh? <laughs> okay, but watch this. Hey, we haven't used this color green yet. So, if you take the spoon and you scoop it, although it's a half of a circle, we go all the way around, you actually might be able to scoop a full circle. Okay, let's try it. Ready? Yeah, look, there we go, whoa, look, <laughs> it's like a circle, wow, <laughs> and then you can put it in your hands, roll it around, yeah, look, <laughs> it's like a basketball, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was silly, <laughs> well, this has been so much fun making this clay with you. Did you have fun making clay with me? Yeah! And it was really fun, yeah, using those cookie cutters to cut out some of the clay into an airplane. Yeah. A doggy. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> and my name, Blippi. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B oh, L I P P I Blippi. All right. Thank you so much for being my friend. See you soon. Bye bye. So much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi. Whoa, and look at where we're at. Whoa, what a cool store. Hey, wait a second. We're at Allegro Performing Arts Academy in Kent, Washington. Yeah, you know how I like to dance? Whoa, yeah! Wow! This place is where you can come and dance in one of their studios, and you can even maybe take a dance lesson. Woohoo! <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go! Oh, hey! Hello! Who are you? My name is Emily. Who Ooh. are you? I'm Blippi. I'm here for the class. Awesome! Sounds like so much fun. Yeah, what should I do? So, you can go ahead and go back into the studio and I'm going to be able to teach you a dance class today. Okay. So go okay. ahead and start stretching. Okay, let's go stretch and get warmed up. Let's go. Whoa! Check it out! This is a dance studio. This is where you and I are gonna learn our dance from Emily. Whoa, check it out. There's some nice smooth floor. Yeah, it's really shiny. <laughs> Whoa, 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 look at this. This, yeah, this looks like a mirror. Whoa, hello. Hey, 
Yeah, dance studios have mirrors right in front of you, so then you can practice your dance moves. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Wow! <laughs> and see how you did. I definitely nailed that one. <laughs> okay, remember what Emily said? Yeah, we need to stretch and we need to warm up before she comes in to teach us our dance lesson. Okay, first things first, I need to take off my shoes. Oh, 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 so stinky. <laughs> okay, let's put them right over here. Now we need to stretch. Yeah, we need to stretch our muscles really far and wide so we do not injure ourselves. So first, let's stretch down. See how I'm stretching? Oh, I can almost touch my toes. <laughs> now we need to warm up, she said. Yeah, that means we need to get our body moving in some way or another. I mean, you could jog if you want. Yeah, you could jog. You can do some squats. <laughs> wow. Or you can just do some sweet dance moves to warm up. Yeah, that's what I like to do. Hey, Blippi, do you want to learn to dance today? Oh, hey, Emily. Yeah, I love learning and I love dancing. <laughs> Sure. Awesome. Would you like to see it first? Yeah. Okay. She'll show me the dance first, and then I'll learn it. Whoa, that looks really hard, but I think I'm up for it. Will you teach me? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> All right, so how we're gonna start is we're gonna start really close to the floor. So you wanna make a ball pose. You wanna get really close into your knees, right? Okay. Yes, from here you're gonna hold four counts. So you're gonna count in your head. One, two, three, four. Then you're gonna make a big star pose, jump your legs out, reach your arms way up to the sky. And you hold this for four counts, and we're gonna count it five, six, seven, eight. Then from here, you're going to shake your hips side to side with big arms, starting to the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, now we're gonna learn what's called a grapevine. Yes? Ooh, okay, yeah. I don't see any grapes though. <laughs> Silly goose, it's a dance move. So oh, you're gonna okay. start with your hands on your hips. You're gonna step out with the right foot. You step out to the side. You cross this next foot behind, your left foot behind. Then you step out again. Then you're gonna jump together and clap on count four. <laughs> and then you're gonna step out to the side on the left. Step out to the side. Cross that right leg behind. Step the left foot out, out. Jump, clap together. Good. Okay. Then from here, we're gonna make strong arms down at our sides. You're gonna step, touch side to side. So you step out with the right foot, out, then step together with that left foot. Together. Step with the left foot out, right foot together. Step right foot out, left foot together. Good. Step left foot out, right foot together. <laughs> Now, last thing we need to learn. You're gonna step out with your feet, hands are gonna go into your knees. You're gonna bounce two times. Ready, you bounce. One, two, then you do two claps. Clap, But it has to be at the same tempo as the music. Okay. <laughs> yes. So you bounce. One, two, clap. Now make sure your feet are nice and wide apart oh. because we want to be confident when we dance, right? Oh, okay, yeah, confidence. Absolutely. So we always want to make sure we have nice wide feet. Close feet, not so much. You want nice wide feet. So you do okay. want to try every single move nice and slow all together. Okay. All right. Now remember, we have to count in our head to eight. Okay. Was that it? 
That was it. Wow. That was it. I just learned that pole dance, and I think I'm ready. Am I ready? I think we're ready. Okay, awesome. let's hit that music. And good job to you. Thank you so much, Flippy. Yeah, well, thank you for teaching me and them how to dance. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, check this out. Emily's doing another dance. Come on. Whoa, this style of dancing is called jazz. It looks like so much fun! <laughs> you know jazz? Yeah! It's a type of music! <laughs> Check it out! <laughs> Whoa! Do you see what Emily's doing now? Yeah! She's doing ballet, <laughs> and she's actually using the ballet bar. Check it out. That is so cool, and this type of dancing is so elegant. Wow. Whoa! I have been having so much fun dancing today. Whoa! <laughs> what? 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 Ah! <laughs> Do you like dancing? Yeah, I like dancing because it's a great way to. Get out your energy and exercise. Yeah, I love being healthy. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't I teach you a dance so then you and I can dance together? Would that be fun? Yeah. Okay, the first thing about dancing is what's called rhythm. Yeah, every song has rhythm. It's basically the beat. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna clap my hands and then you clap your hands with me at the same time, okay? Ready? Good job! Yeah! Do you feel this? Yeah! This is rhythm! <laughs> yeah! We did it! Good job! Okay, so now I'm gonna do that again, but now we're gonna want to move our legs to the rhythm, okay? Ready? Here we go. Here we go. We got it. Double time. Good job. Okay, now that we understand rhythm and beats, now we can learn the parts of the dance, okay? First thing, yeah, you see this up there? Yeah, what machine is that? Yeah, that is a bulldozer. So we're gonna dance as if we're bulldozers. First, you need to put your hands up like it's the blade of the bulldozer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then you need to move your legs and 
dance like a bulldozer. Yeah, there we go. We're totally like bulldozers. <laughs> I love bulldozers. Whoa. <laughs> okay, all right, so that's gonna be the first dance move. And then the second dance move, yeah, we're gonna act like kangaroos. Yeah, do you know what a kangaroo is? Yeah, whoa, <laughs> such cool animals. <laughs> okay, the cool thing about kangaroos is how high they can jump. All right, put your hands like this and then jump really high. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, I bet you can do that one really good at home. <laughs> okay, now the third dance move we're gonna do is... Yeah, that's a dinosaur, isn't it? What kind of dinosaur is that? Yeah, a T-Rex! Good job! Okay, so the funny thing about T-Rexes are they have short little hands. Yeah, like that. <laughs> but they're actually really fierce, so you have to act fierce. <laughs> okay, but now we need to put that all into rhythm and a beat. Yeah, and then you act like a T-Rex. <laughs> okay, those are the three dance moves. But now, remember, we need a rhythm and a beat. So, hit it, DJ! Remember the first one? Yep! Bulldozer dance! Good job! <laughs> Plow the dirt! Wow! That was really good. I'm really proud of you. That was such a good bulldozer dance. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go into the second dance move. Remember it? It's an animal. And it jumps really high. Yeah, a kangaroo. Ready? <laughs> wow. Wow, kangaroos are so cool. They can jump so high. All right, shake it off. Okay, now for the third dance move, the T-Rex. Ready? Rah, rah, rah. Rah, rah, rah. Rah, rah, rah. Did you see that? Yeah, that was so much fun doing all those sweet dances today at Allegro Performing Arts Academy in Kent, Washington. Wow, <laughs> I sure do love to dance. Hey, if you're around this area, you can come and do the very same creative movement class that I did today. Wow, that was so much fun. Or, yeah, I'm sure you have a local performing arts studio where you can learn to dance. Yeah, there's a lot of cool dances you can do, like jazz and tap and ballet. Whoa, even acro. <laughs> that sounds like so much fun. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Flippy, good job. All right, I'm gonna go and take a nap now at home. I am so tired. Ah! <sighs>
so much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout, Blippi!
Just make learning fun. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Blippi! Ah, yeah. Today we're at Leavenworth Ski Hill in Leavenworth, Washington. <laughs> it is a winter wonderland today, and you and I are gonna have some fun in the snow. Let's go! Whoa! That was so much fun! Whoa! Did you see what I just did? Yeah, I rode this inner tube down that hill. But that hill wasn't that big. But hey, here we have a bigger hill and we have a machine to tow you up to the hill. So then you don't have to walk all the way up there. I'll show you that soon. But first, this is an inner tube. Whoa, this inner tube has a red cover on it. Whoa, it protects the inner tube. The actual inner tube is black and rubber on the inside, see? And then there's an inner tube leash. And this ring is what the hook hooks onto that then it tows you up to the top of the hill. Woo -hoo -hoo. Whoa, let's go check it out. Okay, check it out. So this machine, yeah, there's cables there. There's gears, check out the gears. Whoa, do you see those gears? It's spinning around, and that is what is providing all its strength and power for these hooks right there to tow the tube and the person to the top of the hill. All right, let's hook one up, and then we'll watch the inner tube go. All right, I have a game to play. Let's count how many tubes we see, all right? One. Two. Three. Four tubes. All righty, good job. We just counted to four together. Now, I have another game. This one's pretty simple. What shape is this inner tube? Hmm, it's not a square. Is it a triangle? No, it's the same shape as a tire. Yeah, it's a circle. Good job. Hey, check it out. Look at what this is. This is a black rubber mat. It's really heavy. Ugh. And this is a gray carpet. Yeah, just like maybe carpet that you might have at home. Yeah, these mats and carpets are placed on the inner tube path to help slow you down. Because if not, maybe you'd go too fast and go off a big jump. <laughs> All right, here I go. Whoa! How fast I went! That was awesome! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! What a cool machine this is! The great thing about ski hills are they have really cool machines to maintain the land! Whoa! Check it out! Wow! Do you see this? Yeah! 
This is a track. Yeah, this vehicle has tracks. Interesting. Most vehicles have wheels and tires, but not this one. This one has tracks, so then it can dig into the snow and then it won't slip and slide. <laughs> Let's check it out. Check it out. Do you see what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm riding a bike. Isn't this weird? I'm riding a bike on snow. Yeah, normally you ride a bike on concrete and dirt and asphalt, but check this out. Do you see this bike's tires? Yeah, they're so big and wide. Whoa. That is way wider than a normal bike tire. Yeah, these tires are called fat tires. So then they can grip more snow. So then you don't slip and slide. Wow, this bike has some good tread. Let's roll. is snow <laughs> and it's really cold now that it's so cold outside put on your hats and gloves and sip some nice warm cocoa from a mug oh excuse me <laughs> now that it's snowing outside everyone's having fun let's take the snowboard out for
This has been so much fun playing in the snow with you today. Wow, I sure do love the seasons. Yep, and wintertime is such a great time of the year. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi! Good job! All right, see you again! Bye bye Hey! It's me, Blippi! And look at what's behind me! Whoa! This is a snowmobile. And this snowmobile belongs to my friends, Magnus and Hans. <laughs> And today, you and I are going to learn about snowmobiles! Yeah! Got to ask you, what colors do you see on the snowmobile? Yeah, I see the color red, black, white, and hey, look down here. There's some silver. <laughs> hey, come back here. Wow, look at this tree. What color is this tree? Looks like icy green and brown and what else? Yeah, the snow is white. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I love playing in the snow, <laughs> but it's so cold. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> This snowmobile is so powerful! Do you know how the snowmobile gets all of its power? Yeah! The engine! Whoa! Check that out! Looks like we have... Oh! This looks like maybe the engine oil! Whoa! That's what helps cool the engine. Um, let's see. Ooh, looks like the flywheel, some gears. Oh! And look at this! This is a front shock. Yeah, this is part of the suspension of the snowmobile. Whoa! And look down here! This snowmobile has two skis. One right here, and one over there. Whoa, that is what's on the front to help steer the snowmobile. Come on up to the other side. Whoa, the other engine compartment. Whoa. Looks like we have the exhaust in there. You definitely don't want to touch that. That is really hot. Oh, and we have the intake. And we have the engine way down in there. Whoa, this engine is so compact with so much power. All in the front of the snowmobile. Come to the back, check this out. Wow. This is the track of the snowmobile. You see these big things poking up? Wow. 
that helps it grip into the snow so it doesn't slip and slide. Yeah, that's kind of like the tread on a wheel and tire. But this snowmobile does not have a wheel or a tire. <laughs> oh, come check this out. All right, this is the dash of the snowmobile right here. This is where it tells you how fast you're going, your engine temperature. Oh, and look at right here. Yeah, the key. Yeah, you know what that does. When you have that in, then you turn it, and that is how you start the snowmobile. But it's not like a car where you just start it with a key. You have to pull this. Check this out. So for safety, we have the brake, and not for safety, we have the throttle. Here we go! has been so much fun riding this snowmobile. Oh geez, I sure do love the seasons, don't you? Yeah, it's so cool how you can do fun things during the spring and the summer and the fall and the winter. Yeah, let's go. what we found yeah we found a river whoa this has been so much fun exploring with the snowmobiles and finding this river hey do you know what animals live in this river yeah probably some fish whoa i definitely don't want to be a fish right now and swim in that water that water looks so cold <laughs> Check out this yellow vehicle. Whoa! Do you see something unique about it? Yeah, check this out. Just like how the snowmobile has tracks, yeah, it doesn't have wheels and tires. Yeah, the Jeep also has tracks. It doesn't have wheels and tires as well, just like the snowmobile. <laughs> snowmobiling at Leavenworth Snowmobile Tours at the Mountain Springs Lodge in Plain, Washington. Ho, ho, ho. Do you like snowmobiling? Yeah, I do too. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Bye-bye!